My name is Sheriff Reginald Scandrad. I'm the sheriff here in Henry County, Georgia, which we consider to be God's country. Uh, I am elated this morning to be standing with me this morning, the Bibb County Sheriff, Sheriff David Davis, uh, Rockdale County Sheriff, Sheriff Eric, Eric Lovett, Sheriff Patrick Labatt, Fulton County Sheriff, from the Georgia State Patrol, Major Kendrick Lowe, uh, Captain Brandon Dawson, Lieutenant Michael Burns, also Lieutenant Michael Dockery, Captain Greg Shackelford, and from APD we have Major E.R. Smith. We also have from the U.S. Marshal's Chief Deputy, John Stevens. Did I miss anyone? Good, good. With respect to the manhunt for Mr. Brinson Thomas, or Brinson Bernard Thomas, uh, he is now inmate Bernard Thomas, housed here in the Henry County Jail. Uh, he was captured yesterday evening at approximately 1,300 hours in Bibb County, Georgia. Uh, the suspect was arrested without incident with, from the, with the U.S. Marshals, uh, Bibb County Sheriff's Office, and the Georgia State Patrol. Uh, he is now housed in the Henry County Jail, and we are beyond ecstatic for that. Uh, again, more specifically, he was arrested yesterday, Sunday, November 14th, 2022, in Bibb County at a place called the Econo Lodge Motel. Uh, again, with assistance from the U.S. Marshal Southeast Regional Fugitive Task Force, and with assistance from the Georgia State Patrol and, and the Bibb County Sheriff's Office, with charges of murder, allegedly a victim, Michael Brown, and two counts of aggravated assault. He had his first appearance hearings this morning, and the case was bounded over to Superior Court. Um, his preliminary hearing will be December the 6th, 2022. I want to give special uh, thanks to the Henry County Police Department, the City of Atlanta Police, ATF, Bibb County Sheriff's Office, Georgia State Patrol, Fulton County Sheriff's Office, Jackson County Sheriff's Office in Florida, Lowndes County Sheriff's Office, uh, uh, Orange County Sheriff's Office in Florida, Osceola County Sheriff's Office in Florida, Rockdale County Sheriff's Office, Tiff County Police Department, Tiff County Sheriff's Office, U.S. Secret Service, and of course the U.S. Marshals Southeast Regional Task Force. This is a time frame that we are beyond ecstatic in terms of what law enforcement is doing to date. Uh, with all the challenges that law enforcement is facing nowadays, this is the core of what we do. If you purposely hurt one of us, we're coming to get you, period. And this is a testament to what we have done collectively in the holistic body of work for the last nine days. These men and women that I stand alongside of and shoulder to shoulder with has gotten a limited amount of sleep to making sure that we found the one, this time, the one that has affected law enforcement across this state by dealing with just Henry County today. Tomorrow it may be someone else. But we stand as brothers and sisters in this unified stance of law enforcement. And I'm beyond ecstatic that we're still able to do that now in the 21st century in these times, and particularly in the state of Georgia. This, this guy, again, is arrested here. This would be in your package. But we are still actively looking for Ms. Damari Ayana Cutler, age 29, height 5'7", 135 pounds, approximately black and brown hair, brown and eyes eyes brown in color, charges hindering apprehension of a fugitive, which is a felony. We are still actively looking for her. This should be in your media package. We want her in custody as well. With respect to that, I will yield back and take questions. If it's categoric, we'll make sure that those and address those appropriately. Chair, can you tell how you tracked the suspect down to Bibb County? Well, I don't want to give out any specifics, but I will tell you this. Uh, this is good old-fashioned police work in terms of what we do collectively, in terms of sharing information, in terms of how we want to make sure that uh, every move that is made, we know something about it until we get to the point that we can do what we call our net. And our net is to make sure we bring you into custody appropriately as quick as possible. Was who on off duty? The officer was technically on duty. Uh, that is another thing that I want to look at but not get into any specifics on. Uh, we also want to subsequently open up an internal affairs investigation because I want to know the who, what, when, where, and the how of everything that happened holistically. 
So once we finalize that, then we'll sort of go in that direction uh, and what we need to do specifically at that time. Uh, the last week has been very challenging with respect to rest, with respect to timing, with respect to monies that were spent, uh, but it was harmonious internally. This is what we do, uh, and I think everyone that stands beside me will tell you that. Uh, this is what we do. We don't have to do a lot of talking about it. We don't have to do any bragging about it. Uh, if you are challenged or crazy enough uh, to try to hurt one of our law enforcement personnel, statewide, nationwide, we're going to track you. We're going to find you and bring you to justice. Sheriff, can you uh, speak to the Florida connection? I believe you said there was some Florida agencies involved. Well, in, in, in the investigatory process of this, this individual was all over the place. Uh, we got some very critical information from several um, entities inside of the Florida connection as well. And so they were instrumental with respect to the information we needed at the time with respect to this investigation. Is there an active warrant out for them in Florida? No, not in the Florida area. With respect to what specifically? The initial incident. Well, the initial incident is still being investigated by the Henry County Police Department in terms of what the details are. It's still in the investigative process or mode. I don't want to tamper into that at all. I want to make sure we continue to stay with the headline with respect to this guy who is who's a danger to all of us, quite frankly, uh, is in custody, and we're still actively looking for one more. I'm sorry? Bibb County, and Bibb County Sheriff is here as well. I don't want to talk for them. I've given a lot of headline, but the Bibb County Sheriff is here, uh, if you want to talk about that more specifically. And the uh, Chief Deputy for the U.S. Marshals is here as well. Uh, so I will yield back with respect to them as well to share the stage. Can you give any more insight into what motivated the shooting to begin with? I know you did go into detail about the shooting, the original shooting, since it's under investigation, but what motivated that shooting to begin with? Yeah, I, I cannot, unfortunately, give any details with respect to that because it's still in the preliminary subsequent phases of an investigatory time frame. So I don't want to hinder, challenge, or uh, dive into that right now at all. The detention officer is still housed in a local county hospital. Uh, he's progressing well. Uh, he's progressing very well, in fact, uh, particularly after being shot five times. Uh, just the graces of God be with him and his family, but he's progressing very well. Thank you so much for asking. Are you identifying the, the, the detention officer? Uh, not at this time. Not at this time. I'm sorry, say that again? Again, a part of the investigation. I, I don't want to get into the, the investigation at all because that's a sensitive nature, guys. I want to make sure that we look at every I, dot it, every T, and cross it. And I just don't want to put that out there so that it's subject to uh, being scrutinized or looked at when we're in the preliminary phases of an investigation. All right? Yes, Marshals? John Stevens, Chief Deputy, United States Marshal uh, for the Northern District of Georgia, under United States Marshal Thomas Brown. I'm here to take questions. Thank you. Can you just talk about the, uh, the apprehension, what was all involved in bringing this suspect? <clears throat> uh, so as the sheriff talked about, uh, what is involved is cooperation. The U.S. Marshals are fortunate in that we have a, a worldwide presence uh, and we have deep investigative capabilities, but none of that matters without the, the local, state, and uh, the partners here. We couldn't do anything. Uh, we're a small agency. We have 3,000 operational personnel worldwide. Uh, our task force is to bring together people from, from all over the nation, law enforcement from all over the nation, and it allows us to have this massive reach. Uh, has, as the sheriff said, our Southeastern Regional Fugitive Task Force took this case on. Our Gulf Coast Regional Fugitive Task Force uh, extended help, and that allowed us to investigate both here and in Northern Florida. Um, so that, that's, that's what we do. It's the cooperation, and fortunately, the sheriff uh, works really well with us. Thank you. Uh, unfortunately, no. Uh, that's, that's moving into the area of tactics, and we need to keep that, uh, hold that close to the chest so that the next person that runs doesn't know what we're going to do so we can more effectively take them into custody. Uh, I will say the Georgia State Patrol was absolutely instrumental in making this happen, as was the uh, Macon Bibb County Sheriff's Office. Uh, it, it's not a secret the Georgia State Patrol has eyes everywhere, 
and, and they were the eyes that, that brought this home. He was, he was running. He was trying to get away from the sheriff. Uh, he, was, he, was, he was trying to hide. He was, he was going motel to motel and, and trying to escape, but it was unsuccessful. Were you tracking him at various motels? We, through investigative techniques, we were tracking him all over the south. We, we, we knew where he was. Uh, we were just looking for the right time. Uh, we, we, we had him close, and the Georgia State Patrol brought it home. No, uh, she, she's gone to ground, she's hiding, uh, she's running, but we won't stop looking for her. Uh, we, we are going to find her, it's not if, it's when. What is her connection to the suspect? I'd, I'd, have, asked to, uh, I'd have the uh, sheriff speak to that. As far as the actual underlying, uh, we do fugitives, as far as the actual underlying police investigation, as the sheriff said, the uh, Henry County police are taking care of that. Is there anything else regarding the fugitives section of this investigation? Thank you, sir. All right, bring up the Bill County Sheriff, David Davis. Thank you, Sheriff. This shows what teamwork and partnership does. We have state agencies and local agencies. It does. I have uh, my SRT team uh, that was instrumental in the capture here today uh, with us. And, and this individual has been running all over the southeast, running all up and down 75, down into South Georgia, Florida, and he's been tracked. We've had investigation leads. We've had people that have called in. And so it just shows that all of us, no matter what agency we work for, whether it's a county agency, city agency, state agency, when it's one of our folks that's been injured, and even a member of the public, as there was another victim in, involved in this case, we're going to track you down, we're going to find you, we're going to bring you to justice. And that's what happened in this particular case. Sheriff Scandred and I have been in contact ever since this happened, and there uh, had been word earlier uh, in the investigation and earlier in the manhunt that he might have been coming through Macon, and I'm sure at some time in his travels going to Florida, he passed through Macon and then coming back up uh, this way uh, on the run, he wound up in Macon uh, yesterday on a Sunday afternoon where he was captured. And I can't say enough of, uh, in thanks uh, to all of those involved, State Patrol, uh, U.S. Marshal Service, and especially my uh, SRT team from the Sheriff's Office. Everybody came together with a plan. This person was taken into custody, no injuries, and now he's going to face justice uh, as he should. And we want to certainly send our prayers up and our thoughts for uh, the uh, detention officer for the uh, Henry County officer that was injured and all the other people who have been uh, maligned and injured and uh, suffered at the hands allegedly of this person who is in custody now. Uh, anybody got any questions? Three more people we're going to bring up. All right. Very good. Thank you. Sheriff. Thank you. We're going to bring up Sheriff Pat Labatt in this order. Sheriff Pat Labatt, um, Sheriff Eric Lovett and also from the Georgia State Patrol. Let's go. Major, Georgia State Patrol. Captain? Captain? Yes, okay, Captain of the Georgia State Patrol, in that order. All right. Good morning. And this literally has been said, but it cannot be overstated. This is the power of collaboration. This is what we do. Uh, when you hurt a member of our community as well as uh, a member of our family. And so with that in mind, it's like the, like the commercial says, it's one call, that's all, right? It is what, you, what do you need, our resources. Uh, you, you can't outrun law enforcement when you get to harming those in our community that are meant to protect and serve. So our hearts go out to the Henry County uh, sheriff's office as well as the community as a whole and certainly Sheriff Scandrett knows on behalf of the Fulton County Sheriff's Office if there's anything that we can do. Uh, we are there in unison to make sure that uh, we collectively are working with the Marshal Services, working with the Georgia State Patrol. Again, what you have seen is a transformation 
where in years past, a lot of agencies and a lot of agency heads could not work together. Well, this is uh, a 2022 transformation, if you will, and how well we work together. And this is a shining example of what right looks like. And so again, our prayers go uh, along with um, millions of others to the, the sheriff's office. And certainly thank you, Sheriff, for being the leader you are. Thank you, sir. We want to interject before we bring up, um, before we bring up Sheriff from, uh, from uh, Leavitt, from Rockdale. APD was an instrumental part as well. I want to make sure the major has some comments as well. First of all, good afternoon. Thank you, everybody, for your time. Uh, initially, when the call uh, came about, uh, maybe about a week or more than a week or so ago, uh, Atlanta Police SWAT unit was notified. Uh, we, we were Beverly extremely wanted to be involved in, in the apprehension of this uh, individual and the young lady also. We uh, approached the location, we made entry without incident. They wasn't there, but we wanted to make sure that we do our part in clearing out the city and anyone that's close to the, our jurisdiction, we want to make sure that we're definitely involved. And we would continue to follow the case. And from any agency, uh, any department, we want to say that we're here to be a part of this team. Uh, of this law enforcement team throughout the state. Uh, we were honored that the sheriff reached out to us. And we want to also bless the families of those injured personnel. Uh, you know, this is a time trying, especially going into the holidays. Thank you. There are no questions. Uh, just one question. One question yes, ma'am. Uh, so at one point you all believed that um, the primary suspect and possibly one of the other suspects yes. was in the Atlantic area. Yes, ma'am. Can you tell that? Give information on that? Uh, yes, we were notified by the sheriff in this department. And from that point, we set up a, a, we went to that location and we checked. I can't get into the, the tactics and the strategies that were used, but our SWAT team was deployed. And was that where the images came from um, last week, the images that you all uh, sent out of the suspects that you were looking for? Uh, we didn't send those images out, ma'am, no. Yes. 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 But, you know, you know, on the part of, of Chief uh, Sheerbaum and the Atlanta Police Executive Staff, we're always here to work as a team with other agencies. And, and like Sheriff Labatt said, it's the corner, cornerstone of what we do. And anything we can do as a department, especially with special operations, we're here to help. Sheriff Lovett. <clears throat> well, good afternoon. Um, you've, you've heard it over and over and over. Um, I, I'm just going to say, uh, as a sheriff or even a police chief, we stand together when you come after or hurt one of our, our law enforcement personnel. Um, when you commit such a serious crime in any one of our counties, just know that we're going to come after you, we're going to look for you, and we're not going to get any sleep until we find you. But we cannot say enough how much we appreciate each and every last one of our staff members, who I always say are the boots on the ground from the Bibb County um, deputies to Henry County, to Fulton County, to Rockdale, to Georgia State Patrol, um, to the U.S. Marshals, uh, uh, who did I miss? Did I miss anyone? And to any Atlanta PD or any police department who may not be here representing uh, their, their man or woman uh, in behind the badge or any sheriff's office or sheriff who's not here not represented, we appreciate the work that they've done to assist Henry County and apprehending this guy. Um, just know that if nobody else have law enforcement back, we're going to have each other's back. So our hat's off to you. We applaud you for all the hard work that you all done. And to the families who have been victimized by this guy, our prayers continue to be with you. Thank you. Brandon Dawson, captain with the Georgia State Patrol, um, the Troop D commander. Uh, so one of our patrol posts, post 44 for SIF, is the area uh, that covers Macon. Uh, I'm, without going over the same information that's already been passed along, I just want to acknowledge that it was absolutely boots on the ground, our troopers that, that made some significant intel that led to the successful arrest of Mr. Thomas. Of course, that couldn't have took place without the assistance of the U.S. Marshal, Bibb County Sheriff's Office, and everybody else that was involved yesterday. I'm just glad that it went off uh, without any more injuries, and it was a successful arrest. 
Thank you, Sheriff. I certainly would be remiss if my staff, my chief deputy is here, Michael Yarborough and, and Miss Tina as well. That's the Tina. Everybody knows Tina, but thank you so much for what they have done in the midst of this. They have, um, we've literally had limited sleep, and that's pretty much everybody that's on here. But um, I want to make sure that I reiterate what was just said. You see some of the heads on the stage, but the body, in terms of the boots on the ground, those men and women, hats off to them. Thank you guys that are in the room. I mean, from my heart of hearts, I, I get emotional with that type of stuff because sometimes people don't understand the things that the boots on the ground and law enforcement goes through in this time frame. Keep them and us in your prayers as we go forth to the next case uh, because unfortunately this is what we call to do. Unfortunately, this is what we call to do professionally. Uh, so keep us all in your prayers. Any more comments, questions at this time? If not, thank you so much. We certainly appreciate all you guys have done, and we'll see you soon. All right.